Hello and welcome to a special edition of Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. This week, our annual year in review. 2023 was full of highlights. Fort Meade was named a Great American Defense Community. We broke ground on a new barracks complex and received a visit from the SecDef. So we hope you enjoy this brief look back. On behalf of everyone here at the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, we wish you the happiest of holidays and all the best in the new year. By 25 March, we will have transitioned all of our digital systems and our electronic health records to MHS Genesis. There was another teenage gun incident that occurred in the Mead Cluster Schools. In this case, it was a Mead High student. The crews from Engine 452 and 453 did a combination transitional attack into from exterior into the interior. They had about 10 minutes inside then we I pulled them out. Due to district realignment the Fort Meade region is now in Maryland's fifth congressional district. The fifth is represented by longtime congressman Steny Hoyer. The congressman visited Fort Meade this week meeting with garrison leadership and getting an informational tour of the installation. This shot is from the corner of 6th Street and Chamberlain Avenue. The site is the future home of the Joint Cyber Operations Center. This week, a groundbreaking ceremony was held featuring guest speaker, Vice Admiral Frank Bradley, commander of the Joint Special Operations Command. The Admiral said the facility will help bridge virtual and physical domains to defend the nation. Fort Meade welcomed back three soldiers this week, friends that were assigned here in 1966 before being deployed to Southeast Asia. The reunion came about through the Wish of a Lifetime program. Wish of a Lifetime is an affiliate of the AARP. The three have maintained their friendship over the years, but it's the first time they've been back together at Fort Meade since 1966. The Army's 248th birthday this week with a birthday run that featured almost a thousand troops in formation and of course the traditional cake cutting at the Freedom Inn. For this year's cake cutting, Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp and Command Sergeant Major Andre Welch were joined by the oldest and youngest soldier present, 57-year-old Staff Sergeant Evans Proctor Jr. from the 125th Cyber Protection Battalion, a National Guard unit from South Carolina, and 18-year-old Private First Class Jennifer Posey from the APAC Student Company at the Defense Information School. Elsewhere, representatives from Fort Meade's Army Community Service and the Garrison's Army Emergency Relief Campaign recently accepted a donation of more than $23,000. The donation was made by the Northeast Chapter of the Army Counterintelligence Veterans Corps. They've donated in the past, but with just a few surviving members, this one will be their last. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin made a recent visit to Fort Meade. He arrived by helicopter landing on McLaughlin Parade Field and was met by National Security Agency Director General Paul Nakasone, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp, and Command Sergeant Major Andre Welch. The SecDef spent part of his visit at the Baltimore Recruiting Station meeting with new recruits. In his remarks, he talked about the 50th anniversary of the all-volunteer force. Fifty years ago this week, the United States stopped drafting citizens into service and turned instead to an all-volunteer force. And ever since then, Americans like you have joined our military out of conviction and not out of compulsion. Steve Fraubman has been awarded our uh, Firefighter of the Year for VFW Post 304 and District 6, and he made second in, in VFW state competition for the firefighters. So it's it's a fantastic uh, achievement. We're very, Thank very you. proud to honor you. Greatly appreciate it. This year, the event that brought everyone back together was Fort Meade's formal recognition as a great American defense community. You may remember the initial announcement was released in March. At this week's ceremony, Karen Holt, the president of the Association of Defense Communities, talked about the award and why Fort Meade was named as a great American defense community. They put on a demonstration for the kids. The event was coordinated by Lauren Hill, the military and family life counselor at MacArthur Middle School. All right, hi everyone. How are we all doing today? Good. Hey, way to fight to the end. That was a hell of a game. Best Army Navy game I've been a part of. Five years Everybody gave it 100%. We executed in the second half, we came back, we won just like we were supposed to. On November 9th, Fort Meade held a groundbreaking ceremony for a big construction project, the Freedom Center for Barracks. The two buildings will house 380 enlisted service members. Recently, we here at the Public Affairs Office received a framed photograph in the mail. It was taken in 1938 at Fort Meade, a picture of training platoon Company L. The picture was sent to us from the commander of American Legion Post 242 in Sandston, Virginia. If you know of anyone that may be in this picture, please contact us here at the Public Affairs Office. Happy Holidays, Team Me! Have a great Team Week! Perfect!